Okay, it is March 17th, 2020, and this is not a glam day. This is a I'm tired day, and I'm procrastinating terribly today. The boys did their schooling. They did every subject. They did it on task. So we got out of school today at 2.30. Usually school runs till about 4 o'clock. But today I wasn't having it. I had them on task. They didn't have no breaks. They got one break with their auntie to go do physical fitness and physical education. And then I had them write everything that I was writing on my little eraser board. And then they copied it and we, we carried on with our day. Right now, I am recording this. Um, I'm about to change the bandages on my bite from my previous cat that I gave up for adoption. I went to the emergency room on the 8th. This is my first time sitting down and really talking about it. So, um, Knight had been scratching at Samuel since we first got him a year ago. And when the boys left in July... They've been gone for a whole school year and a half, and they, they came back, and Knight, again, continues to go after Samuel three times before I isolated him to my room until the boys go to bed, and then I let him out of my room. And I had just started trimming his nails at home, which I watched YouTube videos on how to do that at home, so I wasn't being rough with him and putting up a big fight with him. And every, every attempt, whenever I got one nail done, we were done for the day. Or I got a nail and a half done one day because he jumped and I didn't get a full nail off. So I had to wait till the next day to get the nail off. So per my doctor's recommendation, I'm just applying nail sporn to all the bites. So this is not the worst of what he did to me. I didn't even have the energy or the desire to record this whole thing. I took a bunch of pictures though. Like I think I took a picture every day since the incident. Like he scratched me and bit me up because I went to go pick him up and put him in a closet. His full instincts had set in. He knew he was in trouble and Mama Bear was coming to put him in his place. So he just went all out on me and I reacted to just get him put away like there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine I'm the only one who uses this every day I wash my hands every day so I'm not putting bacteria back in the tube I'm literally squeezing out the neural spawn until I'm placing dots. It's kind of like how I do my toothpaste. Just put it on your brush and you close it back up. Lately, because I'm sharing my toothpaste with four of the people, I put my toothpaste kind of uh, on my finger first like that and then I put it on my toothbrush. I wash my hands again like a lot since we're in a pandemic and all and I just like I said I touch up every spot I got like spots he got me on my legs I am I am pretty bruised on my legs from the bites he gave me um he scratched me up a lot and then from wearing band-aids for so long taking the band-aids off this is my other leg he got me. You can like see the hyperpigmentation in my leg from the bites and the band-aid tears, tearing off my hairs and my leg was swollen, my arms were swollen, my hands were swollen, I was just all swollen. And now I know most of these are going to heal, but it's probably going to be 11 years. A miracle if before 11 years, this pigmentation comes back in my thumb. I don't know. 
I, you can hardly see a scar from where I got my C-section and my doctor did a awesome job sewing me back up. This was not sewed up, stitched up. Uh, my doctor recommended that it bleed out to get the bacteria out and then just keep ointment on it and covered two days in a row just walking around the house casually. I let it air dry. It didn't look pretty. It didn't look pretty at all. So my mother-in-law looked at it and again recommended to keep it covered. I did work two weekends overnights where I wasn't handling my clients during the overnight as much but the next day my hand had swollen back up so per doctor recommendation I I have taken off work for the rest of April I only work weekends first of all so I've taken off the rest of April until this actually closes up and um, the first week I could not lift anything, hold anything. I waited two days to even drive, and that was still a struggle. It's still a struggle. Like, just the motion of using anything in my my hand hurts. And then trying to do things with one hand wasn't working. So, Benjamin and Samuel have been helping me tremendously with everything. And I'm so grateful that they are here because my sister's work... I'm, I just realized how much I am grateful to have functional limbs. And I have stopped putting, this is the brand of band-aids I'm using. It works when I'm not using anything oily. But as soon as water or oil makes contact with it, it comes right off and I try to limit changing my bandages because it peels off my skin um, to twice a day so after I work out in the morning and I've taken my shower I change my bandages so that's around nine o'clock and then again right before I go to bed I change it so overnight it's just sitting and healing and I put on one of my workout gloves so it doesn't come off by rubbing on my covers every time I wash my hands I wash my hands for maybe five minutes to make sure I'm getting off all the old glue residue because that makes me itch so badly it's so annoying and I was on antibiotic for five days twice a day this is the only one that gets the medical tape so directly on the wound I put a piece backwards and then I put the sticky part to make it adhesive to my skin because I don't want the glue getting into my wound when I know it it makes me itch already um, All my other ones, this was another bad bite in this finger. That was my second worst bite. So I do put Neosporin on that one too. I don't think I did. So those were the really bad, 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 bad wounds. Um, when I went to the ED, he flushed it out with sterile water. And I've, this box has 100 band-aids in it, and I've pretty much used all of them. I probably have like 25 band-aids left, but it's okay, because tomorrow I will go get more. This has lasted me a good week and a half. So the things I have been procrastinating with since my injury, like my uh, student work for Roberts, 
has taken the back burner while my hand heals because it's been very hard. I work on my tablet and I use both my hands and my thumb a lot. So I don't have a laptop to do my work on where I'm working flat. So I have not done a lot of my work for there's only a few things left. I actually need to look up and see what I have left in our agenda. I need to revise my unit plan. I need to work on four sections for a student's IEP. I plan to do these things tonight, which is what I'm talking about now. Um, I need to figure out let me do this one first I need to figure out his growth areas and make those edits to his IEP it's only four sections that I have to do honestly I could have done them sooner but lately I have had so much on my mind going to work I finally submitted my ed TPA but now that my ed TPA is done I am changing my thoughts and efforts over to the IEP. Also, April 27th to May 25th, I have to do an oral recording for my online Spanish class. That is going on in the back of my head. Um, I think I got the email from my teacher on what the lesson was going to, what the oral presentation has to be about. So it has to be 20 sentences in Spanish describing myself, where I'm from. Uh, 20 sentences describing myself, as much descriptions as possible. I plan to do where I'm from, where I am work, how many kids I have. I'm a sister, I'm an aunt, uh, who my parents are. My parents are married, uh, where I live in the state of New York, where I'm from, the United States of America. I was raised in Maryland. I have 13 brothers and sisters. I am one of the oldest. I am short. I am black. I have shoulder length hair, black hair. I have, I'm pretty. <laughs> I don't know how to say any of these things in Spanish, which is why I'm saying them in English right now. But my thought is to practice my Spanish while I am doing my makeup. I can say what times I work, I can do the days of the weeks, I can do a lot of numbers. I'm going to stick with stuff that I know I can say, um, like my work schedule. I speak English. I do not know how to speak Spanish. I am learning to speak Spanish. I study hard to speak Spanish. Like There's a lot of things that I know I can say to get my recordings done for this class and pass. Um, we are in the last we are in the fourth module there's two left the fifth module is an actual module where we have the oral presentation and a few lessons and then the sixth module is really just feedback from the professor there's no work doing the sixth module it's just we're going to be communicating with the professor i'll probably do one zoom meeting since i've started this class f january 4th i will probably do one zoom meeting ever and meet my professor for the first time uh, I am I am going to do the IEP stuff tonight right after this video actually I might record myself during the IEP except that no nope, I'm going to record myself actually we are going to do the IEP I'm done with my bandages da -da -da -da. I'm going to clean up all the rest I've stopped covering this finger because you can see it's chewed up, but it's not as bad. There's no openings. Everything is like um, covered with a hard layer of skin, so I'm not worried about it. Here's here's my written out work of my grading for Spanish, and my teacher said that I have a 86, which is passing. It's a, a high B which is what I need to pass. So let's get started on this IEP goal for my student. Let's close as possible here. So 
So I keep all my care stuff over here. I put everything in a sealed bag right after I'm done with it. Yeah, I have like no band-aids left. This is what I got left out of a hundred. Let's count. So all my computer starts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And tonight, before I go to bed, I'm going to put two more band-aids on each leg. So that leaves me with ten. I might replace these four, which will leave me with, what, seven, six. And I'll probably replace this, depending on how much more I do today. So by the end of the night... I will have six band-aids left, which I will need to put on in the morning after I work out. So I have just enough to get me through to my change in the morning. Yeah. I could have did that math in my head, but I just wanted to count to see. Anyway. Um, so I am on my computer here. My little login. However... This computer is major slow. I know for a fact I would do my more my work more efficiently if I had a computer that kept up with my work pace and me not having to keep up with my computer's work pace because my computer is crazy slow. Yesterday it took me, I started printing out work for the boys homeschooling. As soon as I woke up, I turned on my computer and started printing things. Um, I was printing the standards, the science standards, math standards, ELA, and social studies. I didn't finish until maybe 11, 11 p.m. I got everything printed, and it was probably a grand total of 20 pages or less. I double-sided the papers, but still 20 pages. Um, eight, eight. 16 and the other one was five so yeah it took me all day to print out what i needed for the standards because i'm keeping it in their folders and then i'm going through it every day to make sure i have touched on a handful of the standards every day every lesson because it's just that critical i'm homeschooling now and i want to make sure that they have all the information they need so when they do return back to school they won't be behind in their current grade level which is going to be sixth grade, I want to make sure they have met all of the fifth grade requirements. They would have been tested for this in their school district, but since schools closed right before testing season, it's really up to me to make sure that the material they need is there. I have now twice emailed their teachers all the work we've done. Uh, I put it into PDF documents and I've sent it off to their teachers via email. I am now in touch with both of their teachers, um, Samuel's teacher, Mrs. Myers, and Benjamin's teachers, Ms. Sinaj. I just started talking to Ms. Sinaj maybe a week ago. I sent her an email and we've been in touch since. Uh, I have access to everything online. There really is no reason why my boys shouldn't be doing a solid four to five hours of academic lessons, materials, worksheets, online. We've even been doing handwriting. Like I had them write their ABCs today because their handwriting needs to improve to my standard. I don't even know if they practice handwriting because everything is being upgraded to typing on a computer. Like I want my kids to know cursive. I want them to be able to write it and read it. It's like learning another language these days. <sighs> This computer is still loading. If I was on my tablet, I'd be so much further along, which I want to do, but because of my thumb, it will irritate my thumb. And I'm not causing myself any more pain than I need to. I want this to heal properly. Even when I work out, I can't even shoulder press or bench press or lift anything. I'm not lifting or pressing anything over five pounds. 
I have a five pound weight. A 12 pound weight hurt me the other day to try to lift it. I wasn't even going to try that. I've been trying to take caps off of things. That has been a struggle. Even like moving pans from the stove to the sink, vice versa. I have to be careful with that because that hurts. And from not using my thumb properly, I feel the strain in my wrist. From compensation, it's, it's very uncomfortable. The other thing that I've been using a noodle spawn on is my face, which is why I'm not playing gland today. Because I have had this uh, really bad outbreak. And, well, first of all, I've been drinking a Sprite just about every day. I go pick up my sister Vanessa from work, which isn't helping. So I have been using the noodle spawn for my acne scars. Which has helped tremendously. And for my cat scars. The other thing I have been thinking psychologically about this is not to get into power struggles as a teacher, as a parent, <laughs> or with your pets. And not to, to, to problem solve and think on my feet. I thought of maybe three different ways this could have gone. And to learn in the future how to do it differently because I do plan to get another cat. I do plan to own a dog one day. They will not be large animals for such a reason as this. Um, this may have cost me a friendship with someone I cared about dearly. When I went to get input from a friend, the communication was just wrong. So we're not talking right now and i'll say right now Ooh, i found two band-aids woohoo gold and i i was just mad first of all i was looking for uh support all i got was oh another band-aid gold i didn't get the support and results that i wanted and i mentioned that i felt like this friend made some dumb comments and i told them using a little bit of provocative language I told them but again this has cost me a friendship and um, the day it happened I wanted animal control to remove my cat they said it was my responsibility and I'm glad because uh, by the end of that night I realized instead of sending him to a shelter where they were going to put him down that I could have I could find him another home this advice came from the friend right before we got into an argument and I had to disconnect from that friend but I put a post on Craigslist and I got a response in three days and we were able to find night at home he did not have to go to a shelter I gave them everything all of his supplies two cat cove litter boxes his drop mat scooper the remaining food I had which was like half half a pound of food um, water bowl food bowl all the toys that he ever played with we didn't buy him a lot of toys but the one favorite thing he did have we we sent everything a few of the little um ball pin plastic balls we had an easter egg we made for him and uh, that was his our goodbye i gave them all his doctor's records because I had just had him vaccinated his rabies shots he got a little red heart tag the date and said he was vaccinated I missed the little guy I realized there is some relief like he used to claw my claw at my feet whenever I climbed into my bed I would check under my bed to see where he was I was a little anxious of him dashing in and out of the room so i'm most comfortable knowing that he's not going to be going after samuel anymore uh it's it's stressful that i couldn't figure out how to stop the nipping and scratching he never went after anybody else he always targeted samuel and honestly samuel was terrified of him 
and it wasn't right for Samuel to have to live in fear. So if I do decide to get a pet too soon, not doing one right anytime soon, but if I ever do decide to get another pet, it will probably be a rabbit. I have fish. That's the other f pets I have. My computer's still loading. I have fish. Um, I'm already itching. I have been using... Like, I need to buy more of it because I am literally at the last, last, last. I've been using this. It's like a family care version of Benadryl itch cream. It has been working. But I am all out. Like, I have cleaned this container out. And I kept it because I have the ingredients in a capsule that I'm mixing with cortisone 10 cream and I'm putting that on my skin as well and it's working just fine it's it's effective yes but that's on my shopping list for tomorrow as well I just go in there with the tip of my nail and get a little bit out and that on my hand I should have did that as soon as I was done putting on the band-aids because I know it was gonna start itching immediately after and surprisingly this does not make my band-aids come off and I just let that soak in so my band-aids will not come off and it's only this side if I were to put a band-aid here, band-aids on my legs, and band-aids here, the skin is not the same texture. It doesn't itch all the same. Um, sometimes this will start to itch, and I'll just go across it like that with my fingernail. But other than that, I really don't have much more to talk about. So I want to try and wait for this computer to start try not to get too annoyed with it and if it doesn't start soon I'm just gonna switch to my tablet I need to upgrade both my computer and my tablet like as soon as possible <sighs> So that's all. That's my routine for my scars. And that being the first video, I will probably post the end results eventually. Mm. Got scratch here too. That's all.